Organization of American Historians. My name is Kathy Finley. I'm the Executive Director of the OAH. And I'd like to, first of all, thank you for joining the organization. I think that you'll find that we have a lot of benefits that will, will help you in your profession as a historian. We have a lot of what I call hard benefits, uh, things you'll get in the mail. If you sign up for the Journal of American History, you'll be getting that, so make sure you look forward to receiving that. You'll also, if you decided to get the Magazine of History, you will get that in the mail. Also, we have a new newsletter we just started this last year called Outlook, which keeps you up to date with what is going on in the OAH office. Regularly, you'll also receive an e-newsletter from us talking about what's going on in the OAH, what's going on in the profession. Outlook is a quarterly newsletter printed by the organization that goes to all current members. Uh, it's printed in February, May, August and November, and it contains news from the office as well as timely pieces from the president, the executive director, and uh, other membership news. The e-news is an electronic version of the news of the organization in an email form. Typically we send about one a month. Um, depending on the time of year, we, send, we may send more frequently. Um, it contains the most recent news from the organization in very small, easy-to-read pieces, typically with links that click back to OAH website or other places. Uh, we try to put timely news about the profession, activities, meetings, conferences, uh, as well as deadlines that are important for the members to know about uh, from the office here. The Journal of American History is considered the leading journal in the field. Uh, we publish uh, manuscripts that go through a very rigorous evaluation process, the, the best scholarship we think in all subfields of American history. Uh, we publish approximately 600 book reviews a year. We publish exhibition reviews, museum exhibition reviews, uh, website reviews, movie reviews. We have a special section and contributing editor for a uh, section on teaching and textbooks. We have a very dynamic online presence. We've begun doing a podcast program. We're working with the OAH on a larger Civil War project. Uh, so it's very exciting to do all of that. In, in 1985, the OAH decided to start up a publication that would meet the needs of a broader range of teachers than just college professors and they got some grant money and started up the OEH Magazine of History. Some OEH members may not be aware that the focus has really broadened out considerably since that time. Every issue of the magazine has a special theme or topic. For anybody who hasn't checked out the magazine lately, we encourage you to do so. At OEH.org, you can find the latest news of the organization and of the profession. Also find opportunities for fellowships and events. You can have access to the Journal of American History, the Magazine of History, and also access to the latest issues of OAH Outlook. The OAH website also provides a career center where you can post and browse job listings. Also at the OAH website is the annual meeting site. You can visit to find details about the upcoming annual meeting or the community college conferences. Membership in the OAH really goes far beyond just what you'll get in the mail. There are a lot of other benefits for being a member of the OAH. First of all, I think the biggest benefit is the opportunity to network, network with others in the profession. And this conference offers you the best opportunity to do that. We have over 2,000 people in attendance at this conference. There'll be everyone from students to the seasoned professor at a university. There'll be people who work in the public history profession. One of the things we really want to do with the annual meeting is bring people in different subspecialties together, let them have a chance to talk to each other in a way that maybe they wouldn't have made a connection in the first place. Um, it's also just a great way to get your uh, study out, the things that you're working on, your scholarship, let people know what you're doing, and it's just a terrific way to make connections within the profession and to stay current 
on um, all kinds of American history. Uh, this year we're really focusing on some sessions that talk about career opportunities for graduate students and for people who are already finished with their degree and looking to maybe change their career path or just find the right profession for them. So we're, we're focusing on public history, jobs in public history, jobs in corporate um, world. We're looking at consultants and we're talking about how to get into academia, how to set up your CV, how to do a, a successful interview or a successful job talk. So we're spending some uh, real energy trying to make sure that we're addressing issues that historians, new professionals, and graduate students um, need addressed. For me, the um, annual meeting is just a place where I go and I meet with old friends and I meet with old professors. And I also meet with uh, uh, new colleagues who are working in my field and I uh, encounter the, the newest work and the newest publications in my field. The book exhibits are particularly important to me in my career. Most of my book projects have originated in discussions with publishers and other professors in the book exhibits. To put it simply, if you want to be successful in the field, you want to be have a successful career as an American historian, I think the Organization of American Historians is essential and certainly the place to begin your career. Again, we are so happy you were able to come to this conference. We hope that if it's not your if it's your first, we hope it will be the first of many, many more that you will come to. We have an exciting conference planned also for next year in San Francisco. We hope you will come to that. But we hope you'll stop by our booth. We have a booth in the exhibit hall with the OAH and we should have staff people in there staffing the booth all day. And if you have a question about your membership, if you have a question about the profession, if you have a question about the organization, just stop by. And we'd love to meet you. We'd love to hear about your thoughts about how we can make this a better organization. Again, thank you for coming and welcome.